Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Theopolis. And in this episode, we set up Mechanism Alloy Automation. And we also set up Machine Frame Auto Crafting. So I hope you enjoy. Okay, so today we're going to be doing a bit of automation. I want to set up some automation down here, which is, is exactly why I built this room. I've already moved this thing. Oh, God. I've already moved the ore laser drill and added on even more laser drills. And this thing is actually incredibly fast. I didn't put one in the center because I wanted to access the actual thing, uh, which means I could have just broke it and then put it back whenever I was finished. But it's whatever. And this thing is draining about 7000 FE maximum sometimes. So this thing is a power hog. Um... But what we need to do today is I want to set up auto crafting for all the mechanism alloys. I want to set up a tier one crafter or tier three crafters for all of the essence that we're now uh, generating. So we'll work on doing that. And also, uh, I did add an extra tier one crafter here just to convert all the bones that we're getting from our wither skeleton farm. Uh, using all the essence that we're generating, which is actually going quite well, by the way. Um, so if we come down under here and I'll show you this thing is generating more essence than we're using so you can see we have 2,000 pockets So and you can see it drains about a thousand and then builds up about a thousand and a half every time So this thing is generating more than we're using which is perfect uh, exactly perfect for what we're doing over here. So All I have it instead is just wither skeleton spawning but for whatever reason whenever a regular skeleton touched the What's it called? The, the witch water that I had there. Uh, they were sometimes teleporting outside of the, the glass here. And they were just like everywhere in here. And so I had to like just get rid of it and change it out to just being wither skeletons. Which is producing more stuff than this thing can pick up. But at least it's picking up before it despawns anyway. So it won't matter too much. Um. So yeah, I actually had to add extract upgrades onto this thing. Because it was not extracting out of this thing fast enough. And I added a supreme black hole tank. To store all the fluid XP that it is generating. And it's got 13,000 buckets in it. It looks like 13 million millibuckets. But it's a thousand millibuckets per bucket. So it's only got 13 buckets in it. Whereas the actual black hole tank can hold 2 million. So yeah, this thing holds a lot. I just push the tap on it and just push that. And then you can just give yourself as much XP as you want. Um. So yeah, I did expand the size of it. As you might have noticed why there's like one extra size. Uh, because I thought making it bigger would make it so that they wouldn't get teleported outside. Nope, that didn't matter at all. All right, so enough talk. So what we need to do today is the alloy animation. So anim animation automation. I am tired. Right. So what we need to do is grab ourselves a bunch of infused uh, or infusers. So go to a mechanism. So metallurgic infusers. So where are they at? I can never find them in this JI thing. Let's see, metallurgic infuser on this page. Nope, metallurgic infuser on this page. Yes. All right, let's bookmark those. Actually, maybe we don't need to bookmark. I know I have one already, so we only need to make three because we're going to have one for alloy, reinforced alloy, and atomic alloy. You could have a, set, a third, a fourth one if you were going to automate making steel, which we're not. So break that, and I'll just take it down here. Right, so... What we need to do is metallurgic infuser is going to go right. Where do I want to put the first one? The first one is going to be making us the redstone one. So the advanced alloy or the infused alloy, I think it's actually called. I keep calling it advanced alloy because it makes stuff that are, is called advanced. So that's why I keep getting the name like that. Right. So let's put it down right here. There we go. And we'll put the next one right here. And then actually, you know, we should move this right into the corner because... The way we're going to have it set up. So you there and then you go here. Right. We need to make ourselves an enrichment chamber. So do I have one of those? I don't think so. I'm not going to take the one I have upstairs because that is currently processing all of my diamonds and ores and random things coming from our miner. So we need more mechanical frames. I need some electrum. Okay. So electrum. That's nickel. Electrum. Once we set up the actual um, essence crafting, we should have plenty of this stuff. Right, so monthly server press, remove that, put that in there. And I just would put this down here so I know where it is at all times. There we go. So use this to make our machine frames. We're going to automate, try and make these now today as well. So that, actually, we're going to need a few of them. 
All right, so we need how many machine frames? I'll just make about three if possible. What are we missing? Bronze gears, okay. So, enrichment chamber. So this guy requires two pulverizers. So I'll just make two pulverizers. We're going to make ourselves a crusher and I'm gonna need another two pulverizers. Wow, this recipe is insane. Uh, let's see, bronze. Do I have much bronze? Okay, I do. Take out the gear die. That's actually finished them all, so we'll put that in there now. And then we'll make a few gears. Bronze gears. That. Make those. Crusher. Two pulverizers. And then another crusher. And then use the crusher to make the enrichment chamber. There we go. Alright, so come down and put it right here. So, what we need to grab ourselves is some exporters. Um, Okay. We're going to need ourselves some importers. I'm doing the same way I've done it back in uh, all the mod six of the sky, and I think uh, regular all the mod six as well. So all I need now is our crafters. Made a few diamond crafters. So all I have to do is put the crafters pointing into it. You could put a buffer if you wanted to as well. You could have a barrel there with the crafter pointing into the barrel, and then having pipes coming out of the barrel, uh, pumping into this thing. If you have filtered inputs, for instance, like um. You have infused the types uh, only coming in on one side. You could do it like that. Which I'm going to put input on the front. So all the al infused alloy that I need will go in the front there. And I'll be doing that on all of them. So item inputs will go in the top. They'll output on the right. And I'll have an import uh, thing on the right side sucking out into the system. So a cable. And I'm going to run this cable... Kind of down under the ground here, so it's kind of hidden. So I'm going to break this, run it down, and now we just need to go outside and run it over. All right, so the cable's over now, so I need to break this one and this one on each side. And on the enrichment chamber, uh, I just need to pull out. I don't need the auto output. output. Okay, so exporter, uh, not yet. The exporter will go on the front of each one of these machines and... I need to pick up this now. Where's the piece of stone gone? Do I have it? Or am I going to pick it up? No. You're pretty close. Get out of here. Where's that piece of stone gone? Unless it's not gone. No, it's definitely gone. Unless it floated all the way up here already. No clue. We'll have to get another one. All right, so we put the cable coming out the front like this, so up and then there and then up and then here again and up. There we go. And then the same thing here. Okay, so importer. We're actually going to need a few more of these. All right, so importer go there, importer, importer, and then importer. This way, everything will be hooked in and automatically pulling out into the system. Now I need to put the crafters on the top somehow and make them point the right way. You know what? I could just do it like this and then use the wrench from the mod and rotate them down. So it takes one, two, three. So one, two, three. One, two, three. There we go. Uh, I can run a cable up like this and this will hook them into the actual uh, system and get them turned on. All right. So the exporters now. So they're going to go on the front here. Uh, why aren't you actually turned on? You should have... You should be lighting up with blue. Unless I forgot to connect something? No, these are working, so it should be connected. Did I miss something? I don't know. We'll check in a second. Maybe it won't turn on until I actually have things in it. You hardly think it's this detector causing the whole thing to turn that off, right? Hardly. I don't know, because all the other ones are connected and they're like just plugged into the side, not the bottom or the top. So these should be getting power. Um, I don't know. Uh, we'll have to see what happens. Right. So what we need now is some cable because we're going to need to give this thing power now. Or we could just put a point under each one, but I think running a cable would work a lot better. And they're going to run the cable across the back here. And we'll set the point on right there. That should do. 
So everything will get power. All the machines are powered. That is great. So, back up here. Come back down to it. Now, we need to set up all the configurations on this thing. So now, input, output, and infuse types, just the front. Uh, energy, anywhere. Okay, now do the same one here. So, input, output, infuse type, only on the front. Right, uh, now for this guy, it's the same thing. So, we'll have input and output. So, input and output on the right. And this guy will only be making us the alloys that will go into these guys. So, let's look up enriched. So, we have one of each enriched type. So, we have redstone, diamond, and obsidian. These things will be put into the machines to turn into the alloys. First one we're going to need is redstone. We're going to need diamond. And then we're going to need obsidian. Now, we're going to grab ourselves a crafting uh, upgrade for our exporters. So, grab these. I need one more. There we go. So, we're going to need three. So, one in here. One in here. And then one in here. So... There's nothing in it, and if I put this in, does it auto output out? No. Why is that? Does it not want to export out this thing because it is technically being disabled by a redstone signal? I have a feeling that is the, the case. Let me see. If I put this here and I break this cable here. Oh, yeah, that worked. Okay, so apparently having it connected to this detector is stopping it from turning on. All right, good to know. But wait, why is it? In, why is this still working then? Not sure. Anyway, so let's come down. And yeah, so everything should be working now. So infused types. Is that not going in? Um, Enriched. Why isn't it exporting? Oh, wait. Am I on the wrong thing? Do I actually... Oh, wait. Okay, ne never mind. Okay, so input, output. So on the front, it needs to export input yellow, not infused types. I thought that was something else. Okay, never mind. So uh, yellow and this thing is nothing. Okay, now it's filling up each one. So I need to grab the installers now. So installer. I need to make the advanced one, so I need three of these things. I am out of basic one, so... Osmium, and put the Osmium in here. There we go. And actually, while that's crafting up that, we should go ahead and now go make all the patterns that we're going to need. Right, so we'll start off here. Uh, okay. What we need to do is set up a basic pattern for this guy. So what we're going to do is... Do this, but we're going to remove the redstone, so it's just osmium, osmium to dash. There we go. Um, yeah, because the redstone's always getting pumped in, so you don't actually have to tell it how much redstone to use, which is perfect. So let's remove that now. So if we get ourselves a piece of iron, we've seen one, one iron, and then we grab ourselves the alloy. So one alloy. There we go. Now I'll make this one, and then we just need to do the same thing over and over again. Until we have made all of them. The next alloy is going to be infused alloy. To make reinforced alloy. And I'll just say minus that. And then same thing here. There we go. The one to one. And then the next one is reinforced to atomic. There we go. So there's the three of those. And then we've got even this osmium one now as well. So all of these will get pumped out into the thing. But now we need to tell it to make... The, uh, the, enriching, the enriching stuff. So, what we need to do is grab a piece of redstone. And then grab enriched redstone. So, enriched. Uh, set this thing to two-way so it actually selects this. So, enriched redstone. We'll make that. And one-to-one. -one. There we go. And then up here we'll do enriched diamonds. With a diamond now. There we go. And then the same thing with, with obsidian. We need refined obsidian dust. Now, we need to set up refined obsidian dust to be made. So that would be made like this. So obsidian dust to refined obsidian dust. And then we'll use the refined obsidian dust to do this. Yes. 
There we go. That's all of that done. So let's come down here. And inside this one, you want to put all of your enriching stuff. So redstone, diamond, and refined obsidian. Now, the refined obsidian is going to be pumped into this one. So we want this guy and this one. So this will make um, the other stuff and then pump it into here for when it needs it. That should work. So in here, we'll put uh, this pattern and in the here, we'll put these two patterns. So I don't know why I made the big ones. That's probably because of the speed. Um, but yeah, so now if I go into here and type in alloy, I should be able to request, let's say, 10 of it. It should pump 10 in here and just slowly pump it out into the system and it's done. That's exactly what we want. So now you can see this part is auto crafting. Uh, actually, I've already made those. Okay, so now we want to upgrade. Why can't I? Oh, wait, because you can't upgrade that. You need to make a new one. So installer so we need to make this guy now so we need to make two of these another two and then another two now we'll make three of these there we go and then we need to make three of these ones all right i've requested 20 of the atomic alloy to be made so it's going to make the infused alloy and then pump it into here when it's done perfect so i've made this many installers um so one two three one two three and then one two three uh, I need to wait until I make the next one. So turn on auto sort on each one so it goes faster. There we go. And actually, I'm going to turn off auto sort on this one because I don't want it to fill up the entire thing with one item while we're waiting on for everything else. So we'll leave it on all, not auto sort. So installer, just need to make the last tier now. That's two. I need two more atomic alloy. Uh, should be made now. I need one more. Do I not make enough? Oh, no, I did. Okay. So, one, two, and three. There we go. So, all we need to do now is just grab some speed upgrades. Uh, these ones. But I want to grab these speed upgrades and some stack upgrades as well. So, stack. Do I not have any stack upgrades left? Okay, I guess not. So, I need three sets of stack upgrades. All right. So, in here, I want import with stack. Uh, so, it'll always pull out so fast. Stack. And then export with stack. Uh, I might as well give this guy just a regular speed upgrade because he's only been making a few things at once, so it should be perfectly fine. And let me, I need a few more speed upgrades. Okay, so here we go. So in here to speed, speed. But they don't need stack upgrades on this one because it'll only be ex exporting out one at a time. Right, so it is trying to request more of this to be made. So now you can see that's why this thing is going so slow. Uh, but now we need to work on actual speed upgrades, which is just atomic alloy, osmium dust, and glass. How much osmium dust do we have? Not much, so I'm going to grab my, this, and we're going to go crush it up. All right, so we got a stack of osmium dust now, so we'll just grab ourselves the speed upgrades now. Oh, for God's sake, speed. I always land my hand too hard on my mouse and hit right-click to reset the search bar but anyway so we need one two three four sets of speed upgrades and then we're going to need energy upgrades because our else our power is going to be so dead so that's gold dust and i've only got enough for that much energy upgrades do i actually have any left over okay i have two sets so i'll just fill this thing up oh you're already done wait so do you already have enough speed upgrades and all okay so actually we don't have enough then all right, so fill you up and fill you up and then we'll give them all their speed upgrades. All right, perfect. So you should be going fast enough filling this entire system up and it'll always have an extra stack buffer in there, keeping it at the point where it will always have whatever S or yeah, refined obsidian or diamond or redstone it needs at one time. So that's actually pretty much it for the entire automated alloy system. Now, what we want to do is I want to set up quick automation for making those um, machine frames. So I need my multi-servo press and the induction smelter. I don't know what I need you for just yet, but I'm actually going to need a second multi-servo press. So I'm actually going to make another one because I'm going to need a second one for the gear die. So... Uh, let's come down here, and I probably could just fit it right here, actually. Uh, let's see. 
Uh, let's put this guy right here. So, yeah, okay. So you'll go there. So what we need to do is grab ourselves a crafter. So there we go. So put you on top. And then what I want to grab is my wrench. One, two, three, point you down. There we go. So we need to configure the inside. So the inside is going to be input and then we're going to output on the right. Okay. So this guy is going to be making the gears. So if we come up to our pattern grid, we need to make a pattern for every type of gear. So the main ones we're going to need is bronze. Okay, so uh, let's see. So we need bronze gear. So we'll do this. So you take away the gear work and die because we're just going to put the four bronze to make a gear. And the gear work and die is always going to be in there. That will make that. And then we need to do the diamond one. So a diamond gear. And we'll make electrum gears as well. I'll eventually make all of them. Oops, actually, I need to... Remove, forgot to remove the gear working pattern. And, you know, that tree, them trees should be okay for right now. There's definitely nothing else we need, like, right now, is there? Inverse signal, I'm constantly with gold. Might see in some gold gears. So let's make a gold gear pattern. And, yeah, we'll make an iron gear pattern as well. Why not? All right, that'll be enough for those. And now what we need to do is the plates. So we need to make ourselves a pattern for... Electrum plates. So, same thing here. And we just do all of these again. So, iron plates. It's all one-to-one. -one. So, the next one we're going to need is probably some gold plates. So, do some gold. Do we need any bronze plates? I don't think so. If you look at the recipe for machine frame, you can see we need iron and electrum. And we already have iron and electrum done. And we got gold. Okay, so, we'll add them as we need them for different things in the future. So I'm going to put the second multi-server press right here. And then I'm going to set the same thing as well. So input and then output there. Actually, I could have the output here because I'm going to have an import right here. So let's grab myself an import. So import will go here and then here. And then I'll just grab some cable. Uh, I could just run the cable there because it's technically connected. And then I'll put the crafter one, two, three, and then run a cable up like that. So this guy is going to be just the plate. So I'll put the plate patterns in there. And this guy's going to be the gear one. So I'll put the gears in there. So that's pretty much it. So let's just grab ourselves a bit of cable. Because I need to power um, the second multi-server press here. And this this one as well. So cable. And then another cable here. Can I somehow... There we go. I know it's not the prettiest thing, but it does work. Right, so let's test it. So if we look up gear, we should be able to craft ourselves every any gear we want. Oh, wait, we need to set up a crafting recipe for bronze now as well. So if we grab our induction smelter and head on down, I'm going to put the induction smelter uh, right here, I think. I can export out the front, right? No. So I'm going to turn it sideways. So I'll put it like that. So let me grab myself a crafter. All right. So that on top and then one, two, three, point down and then grab some cable. So cable there. And I'm just going to run the cable like this and then down like that. And then just grab myself an import. Importer there. And you will just pull out anything. So you import and export there. And uh, this is going to import, I think, multiple things into there. So if I just grab myself some sand... Because I don't think sand actually does anything. But at least in there, it'll stop anything else from inputting it to this point. Uh, let's see. So, induc uh, induction smelter. Yeah, you can see sand isn't actually used in here for anything. So, it's just an extra slot for some reason. But, yeah. So, now we need to tell it how to make the different alloys. So, bronze. We want to make bronze ingots. And bronze ingots, if we have a look here in the induction smelter, is a 3 to 1 in three copper to one tin so that's that one and then if we look up induction as well uh what else do we need to use so can i see what it uses okay so induction smelter we don't need any of that we have an automated silicone productor uh we don't need to craft any of that no no we could do invar okay so we need okay i'll just do it manually so iron and then a nickel and how much does it need of each? 
It needs a two to one. Okay, so two and then one. So two iron to one nickel. There we go. So they're the only two I think we need at the moment. If we need more later, we can craft them. So uh, last thing we need to make is the pattern for the machine frame. So frame uh, this guy into here. And you just put that one in this place. So let's see now if we can craft ourselves 64 machine frames. Electrum. Okay, that's another one we need to set up. So Electrum is made like this. One gold to one silver. So let me just do that normally. So silver and gold. So to one and one. Come down here and put it into this guy. And now let's try it. So frame 64. It says it has everything it needs. So start. So this guy will start making the gears. This guy will start making the electron plates. I know he's slow because I haven't actually upgraded him yet. You are pretty slow. I need to probably speed up that. So speed upgrades. Maybe make a few stack upgrades then as well. Just to make sure that it will keep up. So stack and speed. Right. Oh, wait, I need to do this side. Oh, God, what did I do? Oh, I know what i done. I broke it. Um, because I told it to input that point side. Uh, okay, I broke the entire thing. Let me cancel this thing. Uh, I need a crafting monitor. Crafting monitor. I'm going to put that right here. Cancel all. And then let's try that again. So frame. How many do we have? We have nine. So let's make ourselves uh, 64 minus 10 plus 1. And we'll still finish making the 64 of them. So you will be smelting up. I forgot to give you power. So cable. So can I power you through there? No, your point is connected there. Let me go on the outside. There we go. Now you're back on power. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this episode. We have now got all the crafting done for all the alloys and the frames. We couldn't get this one done and we didn't get the other um, things done because I want to get the dissolution chamber set up now for making the simple machine frames and all that then as well. Uh, but we'll do that next ep next episode where we set up trip or tripling then as well. So next episode or tripling and we'll set up the essence crafting and we'll try and do the the uh, simple machine frame dissolution chamber automation so i'm gonna end it there hope you all enjoyed and if you did don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you're new hope to see you on the next episode so without further ado goodbye <laughs>